啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦。People do a lot of things in St. Louis, and one of the things a lot of people like to do the most is hit balls with bats. In Carondelet and Clayton, Cool Valley to Crystal Lake Park, Compton Heights, and all parts of the county, we play corkball. Thus endeth the alliteration. Corkball in St. Louis is actually two games, two games, two games in one. This is corkball. It's played on a field with a stitched ball about two-thirds the size of a baseball and less than a third of the weight. And yes, there's a cork in the middle. It's going to move a lot. Does it move more than a baseball would if you were pitching it? A lot more. Sorry? I said, yeah, it's a lot more. Why is that? Well, it's so small, it's got no weight, so it flutters like it's a bottle cap. A cork ball bat is no bigger than an inch and a half wide, and it's not easy to connect the latter to the former. Oh, that's three, Todd. Three. This is fuzzball, though most St. Louisans call it cork ball, too. It's played on schoolyards and streets with a tennis ball, hence the fuzz part of fuzzball. Though some players burn the fuzz off the tennis ball cork ball, and I don't know what they call it then. These guys here in this tournament don't want to burn the tennis ball. We used to burn the fur off the tennis ball. Right. Burn the fur off, the ball go a little faster, your curves, your sliders break a little better. Fuzz ball is played with a broomstick or a bat that's no bigger than an inch and a half wide, and it's not easy to connect the latter to the former. There are distinct rules to corkball. Batters wear helmets, catchers and umps face masks. Teams are a maximum of five players. A game is five innings, five balls is a walk, a foul or a caught fly is an out, so are a swing and a miss or two called strikes if the catcher holds onto the ball. The tennis ball game is similar, but it has as many variations as there are St. Louis playgrounds, and that's a lot of variations. In this game, it's four players to a team. It's a four inning game four balls to a walk, a foul or a caught fly is an out, so are one swing and one called strike if the catcher holds on to the ball. And the best part of both games, no running. Hit the ball to the first line, it's a single. Next line is a double, you get the idea. It's all pitching, hitting, and a little catching. I'm 69. I'm 47, so he's been playing a year longer than I was born. Why do you keep playing, Wayne? I don't know. <laughs> Keep my weight down. How's it working out for you? Not too good. <laughs> <laughs> they say cork ball started in the 19th century when workers at the zillions of St. Louis breweries spent time hitting barrel bungs, corks, with broomsticks. This Jeff Barracks League started in 1939. Another still going league in town started in 29. Who knows when kids started batting tennis balls on playgrounds in St. Louis? This University City tournament goes back. 25 years uninterrupted. Same guys, same playground. Both are games that are passed from fathers to sons. Or maybe sons take it up to be like their dads. We got young guys here. But here we got Second a generation guys. guys there you go. Yeah. You know? Say again? That's my son. Yeah. Did he come willingly or did you drag him along? He came along. He played last year. Man, when I first started playing this game, I played my dad a long time ago. Sons coming up, growing, and they even coming to the competition now. I'm trying to teach these youth a little something about these pitches and what we can do. These games are truly, uniquely our games. They are not played anywhere else. Outside of the St. Louis area, they don't have any idea what it is. So I always carry a cork ball in my car. They are a genuine St. Louis thing. Good game. For HEC TV, I'm Aaron Mermelstein. La 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 la